Hi everyone. Today we will discuss about Western blot membrane types and their uses. So a little bit introduction uh, to Western blotting. Western blotting or immunoblotting is a well established and widely used technique for the detection and analysis of proteins. Uh, the method is based on building an antibody protein complex via specific binding of antibodies to proteins immobilized on a membrane and detecting the bound antibody with one of the several detection methods. Western blotting method was first described in 1979 and has since become one of the most commonly used methods in life science research. Uh, these are the types of membranes used in Western blotting. There are three uh, types of membranes widely used in Western blotting. They are nitrocellulose membranes, nylon membranes, polyvinylidin fluoride membranes or the PVDF membranes. Let's look in, uh, into the details of each of these. Uh, first, let us see the uh, nitrocellulose membrane. Uh, nitrocellulose membranes are available in pore size of uh, 0.45 micron, 0.22 micron and 0.1 micron. Nitrocellulose membrane having smaller pore size 0.22 and 0.1 are recommended for immunoblotting of a smaller protein that is less than 14 kilodaltons. Nitrocellulose membranes have a protein binding and retaining capacity of 18 microgram, 80 microgram per centimeter square to 250 microgram per centimeter square. Let's see how the protein uh, or the mechanism of protein binding to the nitrocellulose membrane. Protein binds to the nitrocellulose membrane by means of hydrophobic interaction. There is also hydrogen bond formation between the nitro group of the nitrocellulose membrane and the amino acid side chain of the protein. The salts present in the western blood transfer buffer and the methanol used for wetting the membrane causes the partial dehydration of the proteins which in turn results in the long lasting bonding between the membrane and the protein. So that is how uh, the, the mechanism or the that is how the protein binds to the nitrocellulose membrane. So there are certain uh, advantages and uh, disadvantages of this uh, nitrocellulose membrane. Let's see what are the advantages. The main advantage is uh, uh, the main advantage of using nitrocellulose membrane is that which is gives very low background. So that is very important. So when you have a, um, for sensitive detection, we need to have a, a low background. And the disadvantage is it has low mechanical strength and cannot be used for multiple stripping and reprobing. So the mechanical strength is very low so it becomes brittle and difficult to handle when dry. Let's see uh, about uh, nylon membrane. Nylon membranes have high mechanical strength compared to the nitrocellulose membrane. The mechanism of protein binding to the membrane is by electrostatic interaction and the protein binding capacity of nylon membrane is in the range of 150 microgram per centimeter square to 200 microgram per centimeter square. The advantages and uh, disadvantages of nylon membranes. Uh, the advantages is, advantage is that the, the multiple probing of antibody is possible using nylon membrane, so we, which was not possible with the nitrocellulose membrane. So, but in but with the nylon membrane, multiple probing of antibodies are possible. But there are some disadvantages for this nylon membrane. Uh, the sensitive technique is not available for staining protein bound to the membrane, and uh, since free sites cannot be blocked completely non-specific binding of antibodies to the membrane occurs resulting in high background. So th this, there is a disadvantage in this case, it gives very high background. Extended blocking step may be required in order to achieve satisfactory results. So when, uh, when it cannot be blocked, uh, uh, blocked properly, there could be some non-specific interaction uh, that could lead to, lead to high background signal. Let's see polyvinylin fluoride membrane, PVDF membrane. PVDF membranes are mechanically strong. The mechanism of protein binding to the membrane is by hydrophobic interaction. Wetting the PVDF membrane with methanol prior to transfer shown to have increased the protein binding capacity. The protein capa uh, binding capacity of these membranes are in the range of 170 microgram per centimeter square to 200 microgram per centimeter square. Protein binds more tightly to the PVDF membrane than the than uh, to the nitrocellulose membrane. The tight binding helps to, in the retaining of the protein during washing steps. So uh, the, the advantage is that the advantage is that it is having high mechanical strength and the staining process is very easy. 
This is the comparison of uh, three different membrane types, uh, nitrocellulose, nylon and uh, PPDF. As we have discussed earlier, the protein binding uh, in nitrocellulose and uh, in PPDF is by a means of hydrophobic interaction, whereas in nylon it is electrostatic interaction and the protein binding capacity also varies between these three membranes. Uh, compared to the mechanical strength, PVDF is having high mechanical strength and uh, it has very and the process of staining is also very easy. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe.